Hello everyone, this is The Astro Geek Comics where I talk about astronomy and space science through art. If you are interested in sci art and space comics, do check out my social media links from the description below. Before we start with this video on exploring the universe, do click on the red color subscribe button below to never miss out on any exciting spacey stuff from me. In the second video of the series Exoplanets, we are going to discuss the various classes of exoplanets based on their mass and distance from their host star. Exoplanets from the very start were fascinating and stood out from the planets of the solar system. The first exoplanet around a sun-like star, 51 Pegasi b, is a gas giant 0.45 times the mass of Jupiter. But unlike our gas giants, it sits so close to its star that it is tidally locked to the star, with one side constantly in day and the other constantly in night. This class of planets were called hot Jupiters in regard to their distance and mass. With improved and more sensitive methods and technology, to hunt for exoplanets, we started discovering planets of all sizes and in all range of distances from their stars. To properly display these categories, I am going to draw a graph here, on which the x-axis represents the distance from the host star in AU or astronomical units. The y-axis on this graph represents the mass of the planet in the unit of Earth mass. Neptune is somewhere around 13 Earth masses, while Jupiter is around 317 Earth masses. In this graph of ours, planets over 10 times the mass of Earth are called gas giants. If they are far away and are not tidally logged, they are called cold Jupiters or cold gas giants. If these planets lie closer to the star, they are called hot Jupiters and hot gas giants. Super Earths are planets with mass more than 2 Earth masses but less than 10 Earth masses. Depending on their size and composition, they might be rocky planets or ocean worlds. Ocean worlds would be at an average distance from the star so that the water is in liquid form. If they are farther away, the water on the surface might be frozen. These would also have an atmosphere around them. Rocky planets, based on their distance from the star, may or may not have an atmosphere. Being close to the star will strip the atmosphere due to radiation. In the blurry limits of super-Earths and Jupiters lie the mini-Neptunes with masses around 10 to 15 times the Earth, with more ice content forming ice giants. If these mini-Neptunes are formed closer to their stars, they are called hot Neptunes. Planets with mass less than twice the mass of Earth are characterized as Earth-like planets. Being Earth-like is only a reference to their size and not any other characteristics. When these small rocky planets are very close to their star, their surfaces can reach melting temperatures and these planets may be eternally covered with lava and are called lava worlds. There exists a weirder class of planets called the rogue planets about whom I have discussed also in my comic number 86 on Instagram. This class of planets stand out because they do not orbit any star. In fact, they are not at all a part of any planetary system. These planets are thought to have been formed like usual planets, but later flung out of their system due to the interplay of gravity of other planets. These now orbit the center of the galaxies they are a part of. My favorite thing about these planets are that they would be completely invisible to your eyes if you were standing right in front of one. Since planets do not emit any light and rogue planets have no stars around to reflect their light. They can be made visible by observing in the infrared, which would be the heat coming off from them due to the formation and the internal pressure. How amazing is that? As we saw, the division of exoplanets isn't very clear-cut, but more interconnected and relative. There is no particular distance inside which a planet can be called hot or outside which it can be called cold, but it also depends on the star. In the next videos, we will discuss some methods that are used to hunt for exoplanets. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the Astro Geek Comics. Click on the bell icon to never miss out a video. If you are interested in buying the official The Astro Geek Comics merchandise in or outside India and support my project, you can find links in the description below. Do comment your thoughts on this video and suggestions for future videos. I'm eager to read them. Thank you so much for supporting this SciArt project. You are the best. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up.